You're playing Fortnite, you're on console. What do you need to get that edge? So we're gonna be comparing four different controller options for your console gaming. Now, this goes for both Xbox and PS4, but today we're just gonna be looking at PS4 controllers, but all options are available for the Xbox. So let's get into it. First up, you have, of course, your classic PS4 controller. The ergonomics feels good in the hand, you're holding it, but one of the biggest problems with any FPS game is your aim button, the thing that you use to aim your person, your character, is right here. All right, now, whenever you wanna jump, you have to take your thumb off of this and jump, and that means that you can't aim while jumping. That is a big problem. If you are a professional, you wanna be able to jump and aim at the same time, or duck and aim at the same time. So, we're gonna be looking at different options. Now, of course, this is free, out of the box, with your console, can't go wrong with it. But what do you need for that edge? First up, we have, of course, the Reflex Designed Customizable Controller. Now, this is an attachment that you put on your basic controller. It goes for 15 bucks, it's pretty simple. You snap things into place, so you snap it in, and then, of course, you have the back over here. You slide it in like this, at heart, all right, it's in. All right, so this is a $15 option now. What it does, it allows you to control these X, circle, triangle, and square buttons without moving your thumb from the aim. So, to control X, you press your palm down, circle, you lift your finger up, triangle, you push your finger back, and then square, you push back on this one. Your thumb stays on here, you feel secure for 15 bucks, it's not bad, but there is a huge learning curve to this one. Um, I found it pretty unnatural when I use this to click circle and click X. Like, to click X, you have to palm press. I've never done that before on a console and it feels, it's unnatural, but once you do get used to it, you will have a huge advantage from your normal controller. Um, another feature is that you have these sort of finger loops over here, so to click L2 is down, L1 is up. That's a pretty good feature. So yeah, I mean for 15 bucks, it's not bad. There is a huge learning curve though, that's the only problem. But over the standard controller, you would have a huge advantage once you learn it. All right, so next up we have a $150 option. This is from Scuff Gaming. This is their PS4 Professional Controller. Now, a couple things that you will notice is one, I mean, it looks the exact same. It is your typical PS4 controller, but the difference comes in two areas. One, this thumbstick right here, and this thumbstick right here, you can have them customizable. All right, so this one here is a bit longer, gives you a bit more accuracy compared to this one. You know, you push forward, you know, you wanna inch up a little bit. On this one, you can dial it in a bit more. You know, it's a bit more accurate. You have more, more room. All right, so on the back is where things get pretty interesting. Now, on a standard PS4 controller, as you guys can see here on the back, it's pretty plain. There's nothing going on back here. You know, you're resting your hands, there's nothing there, your fingers are just chilling, you're gaming, there's nothing going on back here, but on scuff controller, these are programmable paddles. These can be set to any button on the actual controller. So what you want to set them to is this paddle over here is now set to jump. So now if I'm moving around, you know, I'm, I'm aiming, looking for my opponents. I can now, instead of moving my thumb over here to jump, I can just click this back here. See, and this one over here can be set to anything you want circle to build in Fortnite, or triangle to switch weapons, or square to pick up stuff. Now, it does give you a huge advantage over the standard controller. Like I said before, you no longer need to lift your thumb off the aim. Now, for the last comparison, we have yet again another scuff, but this one is a lot different to both the standard scuff and the standard PS4 controller, and that comes from the back. Now, it does have that optional customizable thumbsticks, you know? This one's a bit raised, gives you more accuracy, but on the back of it, you now have four paddles. So these are all mapped to each button on this one over here. So any button you wanna click on here, you can just use the back of your controller. There's four different buttons, four different paddles. So now, if I wanna pick up something, I can click one of the back ones, change weapons, click the back. I wanna jump, duck, anything you wanna do. You no longer need to move your thumb to click any of these buttons over here. Now, that is a huge advantage. Also, in terms of ergonomics, the PS4 controller, as a lot of people have been complaining in the past, when you're holding it, it feels it feels small. Sometimes your fingers overlap, it's not as comfortable to hold. This one has a lot more has a lot more to it. It's a lot beefier. So it's a lot comfortable in the hands and it's easier to click the buttons. Alright, so which one is most worth it? You have three different prices, 15, 150, and 250. If you only have 15 bucks, 
100% would recommend. It does give you a huge edge over the standard PS4 controller, but if you do have more money to spend, I would highly recommend getting just the basic scuff controller. You don't really need the square and the triangle on the back. All you need is just the jump, X, and the circle to build. And for Fortnite, that's pretty much it. I mean, if you want to switch weapons and you're really in a pinch, I guess that is a pain in the butt to click triangle. But for 150 bucks, if you want that really big competitive edge, 100% go with these, the scuff. So what the pros use. It's actually what the pros use. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let us know what you're rocking the game on PS4 or Xbox One. And if you want to see anything unboxed or reviewed. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe. We do giveaways every week. Peace.